Hi, man, Drive Strong, and welcome to the back of this Teardown Lab. You might recall a while ago I built a Bluetooth receiver thing into my Jeep that didn't have a Bluetooth. It's a long time ago, it's a couple of years, and I hacked into the CD player and I put a wire in from the audio where the uh, decoder from the CD would feed it into the amps in the radio. And I put an AUX wire in there and I made a blank CD that plays forever with no sound. And then I would use uh, that little AUX wire to inject my sound. Yes, you do. Anyway, I uh, did that by hacking apart an existing module that I'd bought, uh, like one of those parity type things. And uh, it's kind of failed now. It's failed in that I can't pair it and I can't even get to it. So I thought I'm going to make my own solution. I went on Amazon and I got one of these. These are called MakerHawk two-piece Bluetooth something. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but basically, it was two for six pounds. I'll chuck the spare one away. And look at this. Yes. It's an actual Bluetooth uh, module here. So it receives via the Bluetooth and puts the sound out through here. Okay. And apparently if you attach a microphone to it, it can use your mic, which is cool. So that's why I've got this knocking around because I'm going to see if I can somehow put this on here for the auxiliary mic that's in the car. And interestingly enough, it does have some buttons here, um, but I'm a little bit because you worried because you see this one says stop power play thing because we need it to always power up, don't we, in our application. And um, here you can see 4.2 volts. So it is a five volt thing, but that's fine because in my glove box, I actually have five volts and everything for this. So I'm gonna relocate this module anyway into the glove box uh, so that I can actually get to it if it ever goes wrong or if I need to pair it or something. So um, I'm gonna get some bits together so we can test this out and we're gonna see if it's suitable, i.e. it powers up when we power it up or we can make it do that. Yep, someone's also been on the Amazons again. And um, I bought this because I was running out of USB ports on your computer, as you do. It's a USB 3 thingy. It was about £27. Um, and I, I agonised. There's so many Bluetooth hubs and splitters and power supplies on Amazon that and they're kind of expensive they're not like the two pound three pound price you want <laughs> or five pounds even let's let's go wild um, they're kind of like the 30 pounds but this one seems to have all the features I wanted because it's a USB 3 hub and it comes with a power supply so I'm hoping we can use that for our experiments today because oops because it probably will run independently of the computer being hooked up. And apparently this is a, char a fast charge port, so it does look quite nice. That's okay, isn't it? And you can independently turn these things off and onable. But that one's a bit skanky. Anyway, it's fine. Let's plug that in. Oh, gosh. It's never a dull moment. I've done so much this weekend always broken stuff what do you guys do do you do normal people just have quiet lives without stuff to fix constantly what is, is it because I uh, feel the need that I have to fix something or literally um, is it just because I always buy scrap trash stuff and it just breaks all the time I, I really would like to know guys what do you guys do on the weekend because I kind of wanted to play Mega Drive games um, but alas, that's not happening. So I've got my phone in my pocket now. Yeah, and that's one other thing. I stuck this magnet-y thing on. Apparently it's a £200 fine if you're caught even fiddling with your, your phones in your um, cars these days. So don't do that. Don't get caught out. Just actually not fiddle with your phone by bolting it down to something. Right, so I'm going to push power on there. And I'm going to say pair new device. And let's see if we get something. Bluetooth audio came on right away. So that's a good sign, isn't it? Bluetooth audio pairing, pairing. Oh, and it's paired. That's it. It says it's paired to that already. Active. Huh. Okay, I kind of wish I didn't put my pot noodle speakers somewhere else now, and now I've got to go and pull them out of something. I'll go get those. Okay, I couldn't find uh, a suitable <laughs> amplifier, independent amplifier. However, it does work really well on headphones, so... Don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty good. It's really clear. I, th I think automatically you've already got a decent setup now uh, for a hands-free. So the only thing I need to do now is actually add that additional feature. And I'm just going to stop my audio. Um, add that additional feature so we can plug a microphone in there. 
and it shouldn't be too too taxing. We've got a, an audio port here, which is just a jack. It's a through-hole jack. And we're just gonna have a look to see where we could mount it on here. It, it does have through-hole components, which is nice. So you've got a positive and a negative, but it's how do you um, arrange those. So it looks, it looks like potential air. That's the, the tip there. This wire's the tip and these are the other ones. I'll work out which way we can probably just wedge these in one of these vias and then just solder that on and I will show you. So I had a little bit of a study. You want the tip is the mic positive, which is this outer shell here. And uh, obviously we need to fit that to our board somehow. So what I've decided to do is I think I'm going to try to poke it from the other side of the board, that pin there, through there, through the positive, and then uh, scratch away this ground on the board. Just double checking it through, yeah, this ground on the board, so those other two pins, which are those two, can actually make contact uh, with it. So probably, realistically, it looks something a little bit like that. So first things first, I guess I've got to bend these pins flat so we can know what we're working with. We do have a handy dimple on the jack itself, which is a mounting point on a, a standard fitment, so that we can use that as a reference of where to bend these legs. I seem to be missing my forceps, but I'll do it with this before I go searching. That's okay. more so it sits nicely like that so we get our twizzers oh I do want one pointy one <laughs> go through there but you could see we're gonna have difficulty because that pin is a bit too big no that's gonna break anyway so we're not gonna worry too much about that one so if we're definitely going to mount it that way, we can chop off one of these because we're not going to need it at all. We can make this one a bit smaller. So we're just going to solder it on like that. Oops, accidentally took the end off this one. Okay, I'm just going to hold that up so I can see where I need to scrape away. some of this solder resist. Right, that. And on the other side, uh, not, oh yeah, no, on the other side, I'll just about get away with it, I think. It's a bit slippery, I'll hold it and show you. See, just there between the two. Bit of luck, wasn't it? So just get the soldering iron. And again. And third point there. guess the best way to line it up would be on that positive first because that's the one of the smallest target. Like so. And then we can solder the other legs down. Okay. Is this soldering on? Come on. I'm gonna Turn it up a bit. This PCB is taking a lot of uh, heat out of everything. You should be alright if you're using a, a regular soldering iron. And once all is said and done, it should look a little bit like that. It did take 
a little bit of finagling again. Um, I'm using lead-free solder right now and I'm not enamoured to it, to be honest with you. It does not do do things for me, but that should do. <laughs> so all you need to do really is plop that into your integration. You could try it in your car and see if that works for you. I don't know how you repair the Bluetooth, so that's going to be the uh, tricky issue on this one, um, whether or not you need to hold down buttons. Or maybe you want to 3D print a box for it, a little enclosure. Either way, it's all going to work. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. And uh, I think it was two. Remember, it was two of these, I think, for £6 on Amazon or thereabouts. Even if it was a tenner, it would still be cheap. So I'll post a link uh, down below in the comments and you can have a look if you want to go grab some yourself. As ever, thank you for watching. So dark. Here's a quick top tip for you. Do not solder both of these down to the ground because apparently when you have a stereo microphone, this part is the mic live and it doesn't consider this part's the ground, but this one can also be another live. So if you put both of those to ground, when you plug this in, you're basically shorting these to ground and that doesn't work. So don't do that bit. Make sure whichever pad, whichever pin represents that one is not connected to anything.